Here's a cool little trick to working on your GitHub repository on the actual website itself. This works with any repository. In fact, it actually works with other people's repositories. It just makes a fork of um, whatever repository that you're working with if it's not one that's already your own. So if I'm looking at some um, page, I can press the dot key on my keyboard and it pulls up this github.dev. You can also just go to the link manually, but it's a shortcut. And it actually opens Visual Studio Code directly in your browser. Now this is really nice. Let's say this is my GitHub um, pages website and I want to get rid of these three dots. I want to get rid of the ellipses. I can backspace. I'll save it. I'll just press Control S to make sure that it's saved. And it shows that I've modified my file now. Now to actually make this change happen, now if you take a look at this, there's nothing that's been changed yet, but if we uh, go to our source control, which is on the left here, this kind of uh, Y-shaped sh uh, icon. Uh, we can put a message here. We'll just call it update. We can don't show again if you want. And then all you have to do is just press commit and push. Now if you give that a second, there's no changes that are staged right now. We don't have modified anymore. And if I refresh this, it shows me that I've, I've now made that change to my website. Now the cool thing with this is you can see over here on this GitHub pages thing, this will tell you if your changes have been made or not. Um, if it's still waiting for something, I actually basically just rolled back to a previous um, version, but it'll show pending. It takes about a minute or two minutes or so to um, show you whether or not your page has been updated. Um, other than that, it's pretty easy to do this with any repository if I were to go to uh, literally anything else, let's say I go to uh, this graph compression library that I've made. If I press dot again, it'll pull up that library. Let's give it a second to load. And I can go through, check out my program, and I can look at, for example, my uh, run length encoding class. I can see all of that. And just like a regular VS Code program on the desktop, you've got your colored uh, curly braces, syntax highlighting, everything. Um, by default it'll show up in light theme, but you can have it set to dark theme if you want. It doesn't make a difference. Um, but that's it. So that's how you work with using your GitHub repository online and do your editing online as well.